Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, this is test three of the manual E unit. So I've mounted the motor in a uh, Commodore Vanderbilt shell and uh, stuck the switch through the back and I've just got it mounted with a piece of double stick tape for now. But I uh, just wanted to do a quick video on this thing running. So there's forward, and then just flip the switch, of course, and it runs backwards. So the thing to do, of course, is to use a micro switch, but uh, I didn't have one, and uh, for the experiments, these large switches are just so much easier to work with. The thing is, of course, the fact that it simply works. No muss, no fuss. You just flip a switch, forward and reverse. So, like I said, I'm declaring a holiday. Everybody take the day off, and uh, just want to do a quick video of... Uh, the manual E unit for the Marx motor. And like I said, it'll work on the double reduction, single reduction. It'll also work on the micro motor, which has no reverse at all. And it's just a matter of wiring it into the existing wiring. But it's really straightforward, it's pretty simple. It's four wires, uh, not difficult. Trust me, if I can do it, anybody can. And uh, the best thing, of course, is just the fact that it works. I mean, it works absolutely perfectly every single time. It's reliable. It's really simple to do it. It uh, costs the price of the switch and uh, use a micro switch you're looking at about four bucks. Anyway, I just wanted to do a follow-up video. The uh, Mark's Commodore Vanderbilt with the manual E unit. And this works just absolutely perfectly. As you see. So, a really, really simple way to solve the problem of a defective E unit. With this, you still have forward and reverse, and as I said, if you use a three-position switch, it will also give you a neutral, where the light will light, but the motor will not run. So, just a quick follow-up on Ben's manual E-unit. It works. It's really, really simple. Like I said, I'll be posting some in-depth videos on how to build this and then how to wire it into the motor. Really straightforward. Best of all, it works. So, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Ben's trains at gmail.com and as always thank you for watching